FC, and today we are going to go over what Pulse Chain is. First, though, we are going to go over what a blockchain is. Now, if you don't know what a blockchain is, in one word, it is a database. And if you don't know what a database is, is it is something that holds information that can then be used by a person or a company or whatever software you are interacting with. Now, databases are very useful. I used to be a software developer and I worked on the back end side of software development. I did do some front end, so I was a full stack developer, but I loved seeing the data from the database run through the entire back end to be able to be on the front end and be displayed to the user. So, have you ever had a social media account and you log in with your username and password? Once you log in, then your profile comes up. All of that information is coming from a database, so it can then be displayed. So they have your username and they're able to go to the database, use your unique ID through your username and grab that information. So that's what a database is. Going back to the blockchain, a blockchain is a database and blocks are added to this so-called database. Now I can go in more depth in another video of the full process of what happens when adding a block to the blockchain. But once the block of data is added to the blockchain, it is permanently there, which is actually really good because it can never be changed. So the information is very valid because it can only be entered once. And then if you need to make a new block, add more information, then a whole new block is added. So the Pulse Chain Network is a blockchain. You may have heard of Ethereum before. Ethereum is blockchain. And Pulse Chain actually has taken Ethereum's code and they've forked it and gone in to change things to uh, make it better. So what a fork is, just a little bit of background on that. They have their code, right? And so say this box is the code. So this is the Ethereum network. And what Pulse Chain is, is they've taken this box and they've copied all that code over. So we still have the original Ethereum here, but there's code over here now. And they've gone through that code, changed it to what they wanted it to be. So it's just a direct fork off of it, which is kind of cool. Forking is a very neat process because you're able to do lots of different things when you're able to fork code. So Pulse Chain is a fork from the Ethereum network and I'm just on PulseChain.com. We're going to go through their website so we can both learn a bit more about Pulse Chain through this. All right, Pulse Chain has some goals, which is what we like. We like direction when it comes to crypto. So their first goal is to increase Ethereum's value. Ethereum's fees will be lowered by sharing its load. If you have done any transactions on Ethereum, you may have noticed that the fees are pretty high. The other day, I definitely, like within one transaction from start to finish, ended up spending about $100 on fees, which was insane. But I wanted to buy the specific token that I was buying. So in my head, it was worth it, but that's really expensive. And on the Pulse Chain network, the, the gas fees are supposed to be lower. So they want to help with the load from the Ethereum network. They want to enrich ETH users. So Ethereum is a network and there is a token inside of it called ETH, which is Ethereum. And so Pulse Chain will re-enable re priced out use cases instead of launching MD. Pulse Chain brings the ETH system state and ERC20s. This reward rewards holders and founders of Ethereum based projects. Awesome. Um, the launch of Pulse Chain is the largest airdrop in history. Thousands of Ethereum based tokens and NFTs receive their free Pulse Chain versions. This new gold rush contains the value discovery of thousands of tokens and NFTs on the Pulse Chain. If you always wanted to be a whale and a certain ERC20 or NFT, maybe now you can. So it's really cool. You have your tokens inside of a MetaMask wallet or any wallet. I personally use MetaMask. And what happens is with this airdrop, all of your tokens are going to be duplicated onto the Pulse Chain network. So it's just a, a screenshot of it and put over to the Pulse Chain network from Ethereum. So cool. It's the world's biggest airdrop. Now, the value of it is going to start 
as zero. Like it's not going to be the same value as what's on Ethereum, but it said right here that um, the value discovery of these tokens is going to happen. So with people buying and selling, the price might go up from zero, which is awesome. It'll be easy to use. Um, your MetaMask wallet just works. You only have to change a single setting to access Bulls Chain. Super easy. All you're going to do is go into settings, networks, add the network. And then lower Pulse Chain fees and serve more users. So Pulse Chain increases the throughput of Ethereum four times by using three second blocks. And Ethereum's currently 13 second blocks. Oh, which says right there. So it's going to be faster, which who doesn't like faster? And then it removes pollution. By replacing proof of work miners with proof of stake validators, Pulse Chain doesn't burn waste any energy, making it environmentally friendly. So proof of work means that something physically actually has to be happening, which is what Ethereum does currently. Now, by using the proof of stake, you use these validators and you're not using this actual energy. So it's actually saving energy in like our real world environment, which is great. And then improved game theory, Pulse has 0% inflation. Validators only earn fees and 25% of the fees are burnt to reduce the circulating supply. And then empower Pulse Chain holders, Pulse Chain's native token Pulse can be staked and delegated to validators that reward the delegators with the largest percentage of fees. So you're gonna have the opportunity to stake Pulse as well. And then there is going to be um, bridging with on it. Uh, and so ETH on Pulse Chain and then Pulse on Ethereum. So there is a way to be able to do that bridge and I'll, I'll make a video on that too. And then trading. So thousands of ERC 20 tokens on Pulse Chain can trade on Pulse Chain's Uniswap and similar at launch since Ethereum state is included, there will be an E Pulse and ETH pair on Uniswap on the Ethereum network and a P ETH Pulse pair on Uniswap on the Pulse Chain network. There may be e-pulse trading pairs on other smart contracts uh, enabled chains, and then exchanges may list Pulse and any of the thousands of tokens on the Pulse Chain network. Wonderful. And then anything locked on the Ethereum network bridge to the Pulse network will be known as P anything. So example, P ETH for ETH locked on Ethereum bridge to the Pulse network. And then HEX is known as eHEX, short for HEX on the Ethereum network network um, while hex on pulse chain is called p hex short for hex on the pulse network so it's very exciting that we have something that has such great goals like this and is just going to you know be that next step in first off being more environmentally friendly being faster and providing a lot of value for people because of it being the world's largest airdrop let me know what you think about the Pulse Chain Network in the comments, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.